Good morning, welcome, welcome everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 16th of February. Now, I am here with my doggos guys, I've shot this inside because they're both really tired, I've got Sophie here and this is Spocket's head here, <laughs> they're like twins aren't they, they're Spockies, there he is there. They're both snoring. Um, they're just a little tired today. Being Friday, maybe they're just tired at the end of the week. Like I said, we've been walking them at night, so we've got the long days still at the moment, so it's actually been quite nice. Um, okay, a little bit of admin, guys. Um, firstly, welcome, welcome anybody new to my channel. I know I've got a lot of new subscribers. Um, please make sure your bell notification is turned on. I know a lot of you are not getting my videos on the day. Sometimes they're popping up days later. Um, same with your comments. I'm not getting them on the day. I'm getting them days later. We know YouTube mucks around a lot with everything, particularly the algorithms. Um, it's very frustrating, but nothing we can really do about it. Um, and also hit the like buttons, guys. Helps me heaps. And feel free to comment down below. We let each other know what's really going on in our countries. As we know, it's very hard to find out when you watch mainstream media because they don't usually tell you what's going on. I think we could all be, or we could all agree that there's not a lot about the farmer protests <clears throat> being shown at all, actually. Um, hmm, it's very frustrating, isn't it, guys? Because to us, this is a big deal. It's a big deal. People waking up en masse is a big deal. But Apparently not to the mainstream media as usual, guys. Um, firstly, I've got a little bit of admin, not a lot, guys. Ah, um, uh, yes. Unfortunately, we have Taylor Swift about to do her concerts in Oz. Um, it's in Melbourne, this one. I'm sure she's doing Sydney as well, probably. So it's all Taylor Swift, Tay-Tay, at the moment, which is going to do all our heads in down here in Australia. Um anyway, and they keep showing all the girls dressed up and all that. I mean, I get it. Have a bit of fun. I get it. I was asking you guys if anyone knows of anyone that's been to the concerts and things if she says anything, but you were saying that a lot of them reckon they suffered memory loss. It's very interesting, isn't it? And it was more than one person said that. Mm, I wonder what's going on at these concerts. They're probably playing some subliminal message in the background. You wouldn't know. You really wouldn't know. Who knows, but... So we're getting bombarded with Tay-Tay at the moment, <clears throat> as if we haven't had enough of her. Oh, uh, anyway, um, moving on. Uh, last night I was watching, yes, we do watch, sometimes you just got to watch some lighthearted viewing. I was watching Vanderpump Rules, guys. <laughs> oh, how crazy are these shows? But it's a good way to switch off from all the heavy global events that are going on um and last night these girls i couldn't even believe my eyes i know that stuff is weird in like beverly hills and hollywood and all these kind of places but they'd had a night out on the drink and then these girls came knocking at their door the next day and it's a it's a home service <clears throat> and they come and plug in your iv drip and you can have your vitamins to replace all your nutrients <laughs> so they're sitting there on the couch i mean honestly what is going on, guys? Um, so they plug in the IV drip and they just sit in the lounge and they get their vitamins um, into their system. Like, ha I don't even know what that is about, guys. Um, very bizarre to me. Um, you just ring up, dial, dial an IV vitamin ID drip and get it put in your arm. Go figure. Hollywood and all these <clears throat> wealthy elites are getting crazier. We know they get the lips. We know they get everything, the nails, the hair extensions, the tanning injections, the whole lot. But now you can get your IV drip. I, I even know one girl on the Gold Coast who gets vitamin B injections, I think it is. She puts pictures up and I'm like, what the hell? Like she's an Instagram influencer. I know her for, through a friend of mine. But it's like, why? Why are you doing all of this? It's, it feels so unnatural, doesn't it? It's probably the point that I'm getting to. Anyway, each to their own. They've obviously got the money to waste on it, but it does seem a little odd. This bag of vitamins getting injected into, through your arm. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, maybe it does work. Who knows? Um. Anyway, I just thought it was bizarre. I had to mention it because it was so bizarre to me. Um. <clears throat> the other thing here that they're talking about is... Origin, who is a huge electrical company here, massive, um, they're making their massive profits. 
Yep. Um, they made, I think it was four hundred million or some abnormal amount of profit. Um. And the government's actually giving Origin money, one hundred and fifty million. Apparently, they said this morning, for some hydrogen project that they're trialing or experimenting or wanting to bring in. Um, so not only are they making masses of profit off the little people, peasants and Lego people, like crazy amounts. We know this is global, not just origin. They're just an example. But our government's also giving them money to help them with their little projects. That's nice of the government. 150 million they're giving them. Um, how's that work? Who's getting all this money? <clears throat> I want to know that big pool of money they've made. Who gets it all? Is it the CEOs? It's not the little people. We're not getting any uh, cutbacks on our electricity, are we, guys? Mm, no. But, you know, Origin's making all their profits. And as we know, mm, I'm guessing that some overseas company might own Origin. How about we do some investigation work and look at who owns Origin? Mm, leave that with me, guys. I'm going to research that because I reckon someone's making some damn good money down here in Oz. And I don't reckon it's an Australian. <clears throat> we know Elbow sold us off to everything. Oh, the other thing, guys, I wanted to tell you about, oh, which I nearly forgot. Oh, I've got, a, I've got quite a bit here today, actually, in admin. I didn't realise I'd forgotten. Um, <clears throat> Elbow, Cornsville, cheesy as, I'll propose to his girlfriend, Jody on Valentine's Day. So he's now engaged, yes. Elbows proposed to his long time. Oh, I think he's been with her for a few years. So winning over a few votes, being all corny and like he's a real lovely guy and all that. So he's engaged now. That's the latest here in Oz. Um, <clears throat> and I also got last night on Sky News, which is the only news that really tells you the truth. We know there's more about Putin and Russia. We're getting it in our faces. This year is going to be Putin's year. I keep saying it. <clears throat> well, now they're talking about Putin and he's creating these nuclear weapons that can destroy the US satellites. Yes. So look out, America. Putin's coming for your satellites with nuclear devices and things and weapons. Ah, oh, same old scare tactics, same old garbage, just different day, isn't it? Never ends, honestly, guys. Um, I think that's all the admin I've got for you today. Oh, I think that's enough admin. We can't handle anything else, can we? Any more BS that they keep feeding us. All right, how about we close my eyes, guys, and we'll get started and we'll see what comes up. Excuse the snoring. That's actually Sophie snoring today. They're funny, aren't they? <laughs> She's not even wagging her tail today. She's so tired. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> oh, I'm getting a big shadow just being cast over the land, and I don't think it's the geoengineering shadow. I think it's just a big dark shadow starting to, well, blanket and come over the land. This is everywhere. Um, <clears throat> the darkness is really trying to take over again. We know that it is. We know we've got to keep the light shining bright, guys, of awakening. But I am seeing this darkness just coming over like a big grey cloud. It's like a heavy, dense energy coming over the land, meaning over the earth, over everyone. Um, pretty much every country is what I'm getting. Hang on a minute. And, oh, well, you'd be used to this in the UK. It's saying just enough that it keeps the sunlight out. So there's not natural light. Um, meaning they want to keep people in darkness. We know that's the ultimate goal of these global elites and these people who are kind of, we call them the puppet masters that are running the show. They want to keep people in darkness. They don't want people rising up into their strength and power and creating this beam I'm getting of light. Um, they want to keep everyone suppressed, repressed um, and dulled down with this big dark, grey frequency. It's a frequency. It's not literally a cloud, <laughs> although in the UK it could be. It's literally a frequency. They want to keep people in that. Oh, well, you look around. What have we got? We've got desperation, despair, sadness. Um, people are feeling like failures now because they can't make ends meet. They might be losing their jobs. We know jobs are going at the rate of 
not it's like nobody's business um businesses are collapsing falling over all this so that makes people feel like they're failing um and it's becoming an insurmountable mountain for people to climb to get themselves out of debt now we knew this was going to happen after february this year and it's really starting to happen now so it's that negative dark energy that's oh it's just so frustrating isn't it cause that that is hard for people to get out of that's what i'm getting not you if you hear my channel we're not there anymore we've we've already awakened and we've moved right away from that negativity that dull frequency vibration we're not in it anymore we have moments where we get triggered or we feel things in our body but we tend to move through them much faster or we don't hang on to them we don't stay stuck in them you know i talk about fears anxiety a uh, bit of depression whatever we might go through <clears throat> we actually address it and deal with it because we know it's no good for our health suppressing and keeping these things trapped in our bodies because it has a huge effect on you. <laughs> most of us know that here because most of us have been dealing with aches, pains, ailments and things in our bodies, which I talk about as being past, like, well, hurts and pains, but fragments from the past that seem stuck in our bodies that we're having to work through now because they've risen up, they're coming out, which is great, which is really good. So that's what I'm getting. A lot of people are in that real... Mm, well, it's saying depths of the dungeon. Unfortunately, as we know here, sometimes you have to hit rock bottom in order to break free of it, um, in order to get out. The phoenix rising from the ashes. We know how it goes. Um, that's what happens to a lot of people. You know, you have to reach that place of where there's no way, other way out than to climb out. You have to climb yourself out and get out of these feelings. So that's what I'm getting for the people waking up. A lot of going through their... Well, we call it, well, the Great Awakening, but they're having to shift their frequency and vibration and move themselves back up into a, well, the lighter energy, the lighter frequency. It's an enlightened state. We keep talking about that this week. We're getting enlightened a lot. <clears throat> the lighter energy where you sort of feel more like you're floating. You don't have those heavy burdens. We talk about the backpacker burdens and you know, how it builds up becomes like a big bergen on your back like the people in the army and the SAS and all that. Um, you have to drop those things. You can't continue to carry other people's, um, well, energies, I guess it is, because as sensitive intuitives, empaths, I keep saying it, we take on a lot of other people's energies. And sometimes I believe, and I'm sure you guys agree, we take on the collective energy. And I think that's what's happened for a lot of us over the last four years. We've taken on a lot a very, very big load, and we've have had to learn to shed it and drop it. You know, I keep saying it's like cutting the anchor or pulling up anchor and keeping flowing with your journey of life, not to stay stuck anchored to the past. We get it all the time here. All right, let's keep going. I'm getting... And you guys have been brilliant telling me thank you over there in UK. There's movement in Kent. We know there's movement in Wales. We know we've got Ireland, Scotland. <coughs> but Kent, there's movement in the streets. The people are coming together. Oh, it's so good. It's good, so good. Um, why am I getting Cornish? I'm getting the word Cornish for some reason. Is there a place called Cornish? Cornish. I don't know where Cornish is. Um but I am getting the word Cornish for some reason. Mm, I don't know what it means. Um, it sounds English and UK-ish. Cornish. Cornish people? Um, it's all right, Spock. We're here. Hi, dear. I miss you. Oh, Come here. We got you. Lie down with mommy. Come on. I'll hold your hand. Oh, I like to still hold his hand. If you knew him, my dog's gone blind recently. Spock, he's gone blind. Um... But he's doing really well. He still looks forward to his walks and he certainly hasn't stopped his appetite at all. Um, speaking of, guys, my blind cat, Charlie, most of you know Charlie. She's like pretty old, 17 or 18, something like that. I'll have to figure it out. She's starting to do circles like really bad. I don't know if any of you have experienced that with your cats. Let me know if you have. But she'll do like 30 circles, mostly at night. It's like she's unwinding, but then I think is she getting dementia or... Could it be something on her brain? I, I don't know. 
in between she's really good and she'll come and cuddle me and be all normal and sleep with me really well at night and she's eating pooing everything's good but just the circles it's getting a bit distressing actually i have to say oh i hate it when they get old guys it's so hard letting them go isn't it but then we all get old like my daughter says mum we all get old we all die <laughs> and i know i just don't want it to i'm <laughs> just oh, it's so hard i know you guys understand with pets Oh, we've all lost our pets over time, haven't we? They have such short lives, don't they? But don't we have great quality? I guess that's what we've got to grab from it. The unconditional, beautiful love that they give us in that short period of time that we have them is like nothing else. The memories never fade, do they, guys? Um, all right, let's keep going. Um, I hope you guys went and listened to those songs. I, I've got to get back to you, Lou. I briefly read that you really like that Marsha Hines song, I Don't Know What To Do With Myself. It's really a beautiful song and also No Promises by Ice House. Please go listen to them if you haven't. They've just got a lovely feeling to them. That No Promises is really beautiful because it's about <clears throat> looking at your new world, you know, and spinning around, just in looking at your new world, which is what we're coming into, guys, the new earth. The new world. We've already done it because we've awakened and we see everything just with beauty and wonder now. That's what happens when you put your crystal glasses of awakening on. Everything looks different. Everything feels different. It looks different. You feel freer. You feel more alive. You feel more energized. It's wonderful. Um, so let's hope these people who are in their real sort of depths of despair finally rise up in their power as well, which a lot are. Look at Germany, Brussels, all the above, you know. We know it's happening, guys. The vibrational frequency, it's happening. All right, fingers, UK. <laughs> it is happening there, though. It's good. All right, let's keep going. <clears throat> oh, I'm getting Australian. I'm getting elbow again. And I'm getting that he's going to have his bubble burst. Oh, poor old elbow. Someone's going to burst his bubble. Um, I do feel, I think the yes, no vote burst his bubble a bit, the Indigenous vote to Parliament. But I do feel his bubble bursting a little bit. I think he's going to continue to be called out for his mm, lies and deception, meaning lying by omission is what I keep calling it. Because if you don't, if you're not saying it, it's not like a lie. And they actually believe that, guys. If they just tiptoe around the subject and avoid speaking about it, then they're not liars because they're just not talking about it. That's how sushi works as well. We know Trudeau works that way. Um, so that's what I'm getting for Elbow. His bubble's going to burst. Mm, we really need Elbow gone. We really need Elbow gone. Um, I watched this video actually yesterday, guys, which is very, very interesting. I might even put it on my Facebook page, Chrissy Fitzgerald Psychic, um, about how much land the Queensland Premier, Stephen Miles, is giving back to the Indigenous people. He's giving back this little town... Tullaroo or something like that it's called. Tullaroo. Oh, I'll, I can't think of it, guys. Um, but it's this little town of 200, 300 people. He's given back all the land to the Indigenous. So the people in the town are in an absolute uproar. Can you imagine it? But this is happening everywhere. Western Australia is getting a huge percentage. Um, they're giving a huge percentage back to the Indigenous. This is happening. This is happening in Australia. <clears throat> Um, but, you know, they showed a graph of all the places and the only place that the land wasn't getting given back to the Indigenous is Canberra, which I always tell you is the capital city of Australia. It's not Sydney. Everyone thinks it's Sydney. It's Canberra, where all the politicians meet in Parliament. No land going back to the Indigenous there. So what's all that about? Like, is that not weird? <clears throat> and they're the ones that voted yes they, they had the highest percentage of yes votes in voice to parliament Indigenous. So I'm guessing they're not living with any down there. Um, it's very, very odd. Look, I had no issues with Indigenous people. It's all good. You know, of course they were here before us. Um, but at the end of the day, everyone's just trying to get on. Um, we don't want more separation and division. So that's what the issue is really about. But yes, the elbow government's allowing all this division to happen with land. They're giving it back to the Indigenous and towns, a whole town. Imagine how those people feel that have got houses and that there. Be scary. And there's going to be, well, they're already doing it pretty much on, they've renamed a lot of places in Queensland, um, Glasshouse Mountains. I think they've stopped Uluru. Is that Northern Territory or Queensland? Anyway, they've renamed 
well, they've stopped people walking on Uluru, which is Ayers Rock. They've stopped people going, I think, to the Glasshouse Mountains, which is up north in Queensland. And they keep talking. They changed the name of this beautiful, gorgeous island called Fraser Island. Um, I think they call it Naru, oh, Nari. Oh, I can't even remember. N Ningari. I don't know. They've renamed it all. And the news uses these names all the time because there was a bit of a dingo. There's been a lot of dingo attacks there. So, don't know, but I reckon they're going to stop people going there soon. That's just my viewpoint. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I used to go camping all the time there when I was a kid. It's just sad. Oh, it's probably going to be one of those special elite islands again. We know how it goes. They seem to be popping up globally, don't they? Example, Maui just saying. <laughs> I wish we knew what was happening on Maui. We really need to find out, guys. I'm going to do a bit of research on that. So I really want to know... Mm, have they started any rebuilds yet? And I'm guessing it ain't houses for the little people, is it? Anyway. Um, oh, the other thing I was going to mention too, guys, you know, I was telling about Melbourne, how they're out of power for like four days or even probably longer. That storm just wiped. Like, it was 90,000 people without electricity. Um, they've also got fires. Like, one part of the state's had these horrific um, storms and everything, and the other half is fleeing with fires. So they're having a terrible time down in Melbourne, um, Victoria. There's a lot going on. It's chaos. It all happens in Melbourne, doesn't it? Melbourne, Victoria. Yes, Melbourne, the most locked down city in the world, as I always let you know. Mm. Anyway, two years locked down. Two years. Imagine being locked in your home for two years. Mm. Although we'd probably like it. Wouldn't phase us, would it, guys? Our home has become our haven, our sanctuary. <laughs> we like to do a few little day trips, but most of the time we spend it at home in our safe place. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's anything else. <clears throat> Getting it. England's rising. I just have to tell you guys. You remember I used to get Germany's rising, Germany's rising, Germany's rising for like six months? Well, I keep getting England's rising, so... Ooh, keep putting it out there, guys. I reckon you're going to. I'm getting, I'm getting this image of the people waking up now because we know this is going to be a massive big year of awakening. Um, well, for UK, I keep saying the tsunami of people waking up. But it's showing me them just really wondering. It's showing me that face again of the emoji with the hand, like, what's going on? Um, the curiosity is building. You right, Spot? <clears throat> the curiosity is building in people. Um, they're trying to make sense of all of this. It's And as we know here, it's very complicated, isn't it? It's not... It's not just a black and white thing. We know there's a lot of grey areas around the reset. Um, that's why we're doing our X-File, Mulder and Scully research and putting things into an order because even us as BS detectors who are trying to keep on top of all this and have the knowledge and, and um, foresight to see things coming, even we're having to file things. So the people waking up <clears throat> are finding this all very like dreadful and dire and negative um these are the kind of words that come to mind with their thought processes like what is happening here like what is happening here and that's what i'm getting and the thing is it's funny because i was thinking this morning about how many times you guys and myself planted seeds with people told them what was going on like you know four years ago we had a bit of a clue where this was all headed yes down the uh tracking and tracing and getting control of everybody and the one world banking system and you know you'll own nothing we knew it was sort of headed in that direction <clears throat> but people wouldn't listen to us <laughs> so now um they're having to work it all out for themselves and it's getting very overwhelming for them um because like i said everything's all over the place but see we know where it's all headed we know this is their big giant plan of mass control and well the word communism does come to mind we all tend to think of china when we think of mass control um and but they're not aware that you know the petrol price is going up get your ev car renewable you know um protein based diet they're not aware a lot of these people that this is all heading to mass control they're still working that out so we have to be um a little bit 
mm, understanding of the process, guys. And that's why we always get the card of trust. Trust and just keep going with the flow. And staying out of everything, of course, um, because other people need to work this out at their own pace. And they are. I think we could all agree a lot of people are working it out now. Not all around the jab wheel. I keep saying that. That was a psychosis, a mass psychosis. I think we all admit that that actually did go on. Um, but they're waking up to a lot of other things. And they're getting a rude awakening, actually, guys, because when you lose your job, you know, when you've got no money to pay your mortgage, when interest rates keep going up. See how at the moment, guys, everything's a little bit still. Um, I said that the other week financially. They're going to give us a little month off um, because they know after Christmas all the bills come in and everyone's in debt up to their eyeballs trying to pay off their credit cards and their bills and everything. So there's not a lot of movement at the moment too much around, you know, everything. I mean, how much more can food in that go up and consumable goods? Like, seriously? It is mad, isn't it? Oh, I know you're all agreeing with me there. It's completely mad. I can't even believe it. Oh, look, thanks for your comments, guys, and your wonderful feedback. This is to all of you, your beautiful Valentine wishes. You all really care about each other here on my channel. I really love it because we have felt a little isolated in our madness. And knowing there's other people that see and feel and sort of sense things like we do it, it's it's actually very helpful it's helpful to me i hope it's helpful to you guys um because we let each other know what's going on in our countries otherwise we'd be none the wiser i often think about people in oz and they're not seeing the farmer protests if they're not watching sky news and they're not getting the algorithm feeds on youtube etc that we are or following rumble um they pretty much know nothing about farmer protests they wouldn't because it only gets put on for like five seconds at the very beginning when it starts and then never to be seen again. You get more about the um, American shootings because it's all drama and fear. Um, we know that. So, you know, that's that, that's what's happening. <laughs> There's just, oh my God, it's just too much. I do think that though. People, people still are... N n oh, they're still trying to figure it out. So we've got this lull. You know, that that's why it's like they're giving us all a little breather. Oh, they're so kind, aren't they, these government leaders? They're giving us a little breather so we can all catch our breath and catch up a little bit. <laughs> oh, and then they'll just hit the ground running again and just keep rolling it out and taking the interest rates up and the water rates up and everything, the gas, electricity, all the above. Yeah. Because they're going to do it their way. You know, we always get that song, I did it my way. <laughs> oh, that's... <clears throat> we got that the other day. Who was that for? I don't know. I talk about so many things. Um, but they're going to do it their way. They're still determined. We know Trudeau is going to be doing it his way, this, without a doubt. All right, guys, how about we pull some cards before my brain explodes? There's so much going on. Isn't there a lot going on? <clears throat> you guys do make me laugh. You really do. Let's pull a healing angel cards. You know what I love is when you watch a video... And it's really funny, like Biden gaffes or, you know, different things. Just the comments. I was telling you the other day to read some of the comments. <laughs> so brilliant. People have the best wits out there, don't they? And I think you realise that so many people are waking up now because of the comments. Some of the comments mm -hmm. are really awakening. Oh, we got that there yesterday, didn't we? Truth and integrity. And I just shuffled them too. Yep, stay in your truth. Stay in your integrity. I've got to cover the nude bodies, guys. You know what YouTube's like. They'll look for anything to give me a, you know, what. Anyway. Um, oh, this one jumped over. Oh, emerging, yeah. We got this again the other day too. People are really emerging now. And this is kind of us as well. We're emerging into who we really are. But other people are too. You know, you, you see there the daffodils or the jonquils or whatever they are. It's like that coming into spring, which a lot of you are. Your bulbs are coming up over in Canada and oh, UK, etc. Um, my trees are turning yellow, guys. No, all the leaves are turning yellow already. Oh. Miracles. Yeah, and just keep trusting. Miracles can happen. Anyone found their angel wings yet? Oh, we could say that was the angel wings. If you haven't manifested, you can borrow mine. There you go. <laughs> we had to manifest angel wings this week, guys. Miracles are happening. Look at her touching the light. It's like the light's touching her, isn't it? People are being touched by the light now, guys. It's good. So don't worry about the big grey dark. 
heavy cloud energy. We'll shine brighter than that because there's more of us. <laughs> it's like we keep saying, there's like a handful of them and zillions of us. It's crazy. Let's get an outcome. Diversity. The world would be a boring place if we were all the same. Celebrate your uniqueness. You are special and much loved. Which is very interesting, isn't it, guys? Because you think about the diversity. Like, we all accept, you know, people's differences. And that's what we all work on, like, all the time. Because everybody is different. But the, it's like the government is pushing the separation all the time. Like... And I guess in this card, they celebrate your uniqueness. This is more about us being unique. Like I know, and I know you guys would be the same because a lot of you are psychics, empath sensitives. Um, we're just wired a little differently. Um, we've always felt weird and different. I'm going to leave a video over here about being weird and different. Um, we never felt quite like we fitted in until now when we've found who we really are and we've found ourselves and we see it as a strength and a power. Um, and, and like being compassionate, for example, um, that's something Dalai Lama and that sort of Buddhism talks about is compassion is a great tool. When you can read people and understand people, that's a real gift. Um, once upon a time, I used to think that being an empath, I used to find it so draining that I just I hated it. Whereas now I'm like, ooh, I can read that person very quickly and I know... You know, we can use these to help ourselves, guys, as well and protect ourselves because we know when someone's in a bad mood or we can call out someone's rudeness and say, well, that's very rude. Like, you know, we have a very good awareness, but we see these things as unique skills now. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful to finally come into an acceptance of yourself as a person, isn't it, guys? Um, all right. <laughs> and I also like the, the beginning of that where it says the world would be um, a boring place if we were all the same. And I'm just thinking of <laughs> them turning us into these like Chinese military soldiers doing the conscription and all the same haircuts and all in uniform. <laughs> like we just don't want it. We love our uniqueness. You know, it's interesting, isn't it? All right. Um, let me see if there's anything else to finish off with today. I'm getting that Beatles song, Let It Be. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. There'll be an answer, let it be. And that's really probably for us. Let's just let it all be now. You know, um, as much as we're still working on the filing cabinet and putting things into an order, that's for our own benefit. Just let everything else be. Let the awakening unfold. Let it all just be now. We're not in that clown world journey anymore we're over here i keep saying in terrabella doing our own thing um of course we're curious we want to know what's coming next and what because we do get the ripple effect i always say that no one's exempt from being affected by what they're trying to roll out but just let it be just keep going with the flow keep moving forward with your life it's very important all right Oh, for some reason, we get a lot of King Arthur energy here because we actually consider it, well, we've been given by the guides. We've been dubbed Knights of the Round Table here, if you're new, um, meaning we all come together on an even, um, well, playing field. We, we all come together to the table like the Knights of the Round Table with King Arthur and we're all even. Um, when you awaken you never see yourself as above people or below people we always view each other here on my channel as on equal footing um that's just what i'm getting but they're giving me that song love me my guinevere that's what made me think of the king arthur round table analogy that we get a lot on here um we work together as a little community um we we have each other's backs we protect each other we we are we have a bond a bond to service like the community that we live in which is the awake community but i'm getting that song love me my guanavir all around is dying and gray skies are crying save 
Um, it's from, a, I think it's from an older movie, King Arthur. It was a beautiful song. There is a song called Love Me My Guinevere. I think it's called Guinevere. It's probably just called Guinevere. But I'm there's something about the words in that song. Um, all around is dying, which it is. Everything's changing. We're moving to the new earth. That's why we're getting that song. So I'm just getting the words from that song. Um, it's from, I'm sure it's from the movie King Arthur. Or, or was it, um, oh, I'm sure it was, I can't think what it was called. Sorry, guys. It was around years ago. It was in one of those King Arthur movies. Um, all right. Oh, I'm getting this song by the Bee Gees. <laughs> I'm sure it's the Bee Gees. I love this song. j j j jive talking geeking a lot. j j j nobody taking your dad. do 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 I just love that song. It's such a feel-good song. I want you to play that today because we know it's about energy vibration. We get so much music on this channel for some reason, um, but I think it's just, you know, more stuff to add to the playlist, guys. <laughs> I don't know why we get it. Sometimes it means something to you guys as well. Um, oh, it's such a great song. Hang on, let me see if there's anything else to finish off with today. Oh, I can't get it out of my head. They won't stop giving it to me. We've got to go and play Pharrell's happy song. <laughs> I love that song. Because I'm happy and I'm about tomorrow and it's happiness you can do. Because I'm happy, happy long. By Pharrell, isn't it? Is it Pharrell Williams? What's his name? By Pharrell. Got to go play that song today. It's the best song. we just got to continue to be happy. You know, that's what the guides are saying. Um... And then I'm getting that song, Be Happy, of course. Be happy, don't worry, be happy now. So we've got to just be happy. Just just be happy, which, you know, brings you back to living in the now, being very conscious, being aware of your surroundings, making sure you're surrounded by people that make you feel good and happy and strong. And that's what I'm going to leave you with today. A couple of happy songs. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. I'm going to leave you with those today. All right, guys. Take care. Have a wonderful day, everyone. I'm going to say goodbye from me and the doggos, from Sophie. Bye, Sophie. And Spocky doesn't look very comfortable. <laughs> to see. Oh, my God, my doggos. Never boring, guys. All right, take care. Have a wonderful day. Remember, hit the like buttons. Please comment and subscribe. I'd love to have you here. Like I said, we built this little community, so welcome, welcome anybody new. And I'll talk to you very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.